A quick public service announcement regarding the ESP32 S3 Super Mini. I use these dev kits quite a bit in a lot of my designs because I like to rapidly prototype. The problem was that the S3, um, I haven't been able to test it too much because every time I tried to flash MicroPython onto it, I got an error. So there was a problem. Donnie's backend, exception while handling the file, OS error, could not open the file for writing. So here's the fix. We're gonna put it into device firmware upgrade mode a second time. We are going to open up Thani just to make sure that COM port 38 is there. So we're gonna go up to, so we're gonna use the erase flash. And again, this is found on installation instructions on the link in the description of this video. Now I'm using ESP tool to install the firmware. You can find that here on the MicroPython website. It tells you to click here to go to the ESP tool download. You can just download the zip and extract it anywhere. We are also gonna be saving the firmware in the same directory just because of autocorrect will allow us to easily just enter in this long string of characters. Now you will notice that the firmware for the Octal SPI RAM, it the file name is a lot longer. So go ahead and download the bin, and I would put it into the ESP tool directory just to make it easier for you. So now I'm going to type in ESP because I'm in that folder. Um, I'm, I'm in the directory of where ESP tool is. C3, S2, S3. But that's a UF2 file, this is the bin one, UF2, there we go. And the one that says flash 4M, that's the file here. And it is COM38, offset of zero, perfect. So now, this should work. This will allow us to actually be able to save files onto the board, um, which I do think is quite helpful. Now that we have all that done, let's go ahead and press reset on the board. Sometimes you do have to unplug it and plug it back in. So let's go ahead and go into Thani. Um, it says it's unable to connect, so let's hit stop restart. And boom, boot is on the board. Let's test it. Hello, this is using Octal SPI. We're gonna save it to the board. Perfect, let's unplug the device, plug it back in see if this is still there. And if we open up boot, boom, we can see it saved the file. So that's it. If you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. This helps the algorithm. This helps people to see my videos. I really appreciate it. Let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world. Till next time.